I would love to hear about some of the cool wins you've had, especially recently. I might be wrong on this, and if I am, oops, and we can cut it out. But were you, were you the one that got Burner on the cover of Forbes? <laughs> well, we were definitely part of the cookies team that worked toward that toward that big win. Um, you know, what a huge, huge opportunity to kind of be a part of this. Uh, of course, we have the first cannabis executive ever to be on the cover of Forbes. That's historic. Um, you know, especially when you think about Forbes isn't publishing yeah. 12 magazines a year. They're publishing eight. So that's eight covers a year. And they're dedicating wow. one not only to the challenges of the modern cannabis um, industry, but also some of the success stories like what Burner and Parker have built with Cookies and Grasslands is, is thrilled to uh, be aligned with them for the last three years. We have been their earned media, their PR, their thought leadership, their marketing partner for all of those years. And, you know, very much consider ourselves a part of that team. Um, have hung out with them recently in the Bay Area, in Vegas, and I have two colleagues to going out to hang out with them in New York next week when they're opening in Herald Square. Oh, uh, yes. That feels yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It's going to be so amazing. fresh. Yeah. So, so yes, yeah, certainly. You know, um, we've been repping them for a long time. We also have known this journalist, Will, for a very long time. And we're so honored that Will reached out and said, we're thinking about Burner for the cover. And of course, we were all about it and bent over backwards to make it happen, making sure that they connected. Uh, Will actually went up to Burner's um, vacation home in Montana for the interview. And wow. uh, you can really see that throughout the the story that he wove and 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 also just straight up bravo to Will because this is an important story that really needs to be told right now. We know the modern cannabis industry is facing some significant challenges um, for most of the reasons I've already mentioned, 280E, banking, everything else, uh, plus state by state regulators trying to figure out how to do this and ultimately failing in many ways. So yeah, that was a big win, you know, but, but we also love it when we have our, uh, our California client, Nabis, all over Bloomberg. They have been everywhere lately. Our friends at Chiba Chews, who are in like five, six, seven states. Chiba. They were just, they were just in food and wine, which is so oh, huge. I love that. Yeah, it's that so was <laughs> Big part of the normalization. Um, yeah. What food and wine was doing, they were talking about what one food do you need to eat in every state in the country? And for Colorado, it was Chiba Chews, which is fantastic. Oh, wow. um, you know, we just uh, helped our friends and clients over at Sumo Snacks do a big launch with, with their partner, Stoop Dog. Uh, they released a, an, a weed-infused Funyun-style chip. That wow. is absolutely delicious. I was going to say, did you try it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was out at Hall of Flowers for the launch. and. Okay. Uh, you know, we, had, we secured the exclusive in the Washington Post that went on to food and wine. And before you know it, um, it's being picked up by Jimmy Fallon. It's being picked up by Seth Meyers. Um, it went viral, which is so thrilling. And when you do what we do, that is a huge goal. Yeah. You know, and we have, we've had psychedelic, our psychedelics clients in NPR National, Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, in the last month or two as well. Um, this is the bread and butter of what we do, while also recognizing not all of our clients want those hits, right? Because we work with a great um, a business here in Denver called the 420 Hotels. They own the Patterson Inn, this mm -hmm. gorgeous boutique uh, hotel in the middle of Capitol Hill, Denver. Looks like a redstone castle. I believe it was built in the 1800s. And they are building a cannabis consumption lounge in the carriage house of this boutique hotel the first time that will ever be done in Colorado and in the world. And, um, you know, he was just on uh, the local ABC affiliate here in Denver. For him, that is more meaningful. He's yeah. looking for heads and beds. He's looking for local um, uh, residents to come in the door, try out his bar, check out the future cannabis lounge and recommend to their family and friends that they stay at the Patterson Inn when they come to town. So uh, it really does vary 
in terms of what outlets each client wants. Um, and we always do our best.